Hello and welcome to The Point from MSI Services. This week we'll look at correcting broken zip codes in Microsoft Word Mail Merge. In the October 29 issue of The Point, we looked at Microsoft Excel data types. Data types automatically format data that has been placed into a cell based on the assigned data type. We demonstrated that although data types can be useful, sometimes they are confusing. For instance, on a sample of New Jersey zip codes that all start with a leading zero, using the wrong data type would strip the leading zero, leaving us with a false zip code. To correct the issue, we set the faulty cells to the zip code data type. However, one reader pointed out that when we correct the, when the corrected list is used from Microsoft Word mail merge, the leading zeros are still missing. The problem lies in the way Microsoft Word inserts the data from the Excel list. Here's how to fix the issue. Please note that this process will not work for zip plus four zip codes. The first step is to create your mail merge file by following the steps outlined in the October 22 issue of the point. I'll quickly demonstrate those steps here. First, open Microsoft Word. Secondly, choose Mailing on the top, then choose Start Mail Merge, and select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. We want to create labels, so select that and click Next. We now have to select a starting document. The starting document basically means what type of paper we're going to be printing to. I'm printing to an Avery 5164, so I select Label Options, choose 5164, and click OK. Now select Next. This is where we select our list or database of recipients. I have a file, an Excel file, obviously, that we're going to be using. Choose Browse and locate your file. Select OK on the following two dia dialogues that appear, and then click Next. If you had been following along with the October 22 issue of The Point, we would now be at step 7. Here the process changes. Instead of choosing a generic address block, here, we'll manually create the address block by selecting more items. Individually select each merge field and click Insert. Name, Insert. Last name, Insert. Address, Insert. City, State, and Zip then choose close. Arrange the fields into the proper address block format. We want the name and the last name with a space in between, the address on the second line, the city on the third line with a space, well a comma after the city, a space for the state, and then another space before the zip code. This is where the actual important step comes in. Press Alt F9 on your keyboard. This enters Word into the Merge Field Editor mode, which shows the actual Merge Field codes. Modify the zip code Merge Field as follows. Add a space after the closing quotation. Choose backslash. Insert a hash symbol. A space. Quotations with five zeros in the middle. Press Alt F9 again to exit the Merge Field Editor mode. Complete the merge as outlined in the October 22 issue of The Point by selecting Update All Labels and clicking Next to preview the labels. You can see that all of the zip codes are now displayed with the zero at the beginning. With that, we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. My name is Phil, writer and narrator of The Point. If you like what you've seen and want to receive The Point on a regular basis, please send a quick message to me, pbeach at msiservices.com. You can find previous issues of The Point on our website blog by clicking the Point Online link on the right. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.